My MIDI is our online tool for easily customizing MIDI files you've bought from worshipdownloads.com. In this short video, you will see how to adjust the instruments that are played in a song. As usual, we will select a song from the collection of songs we have bought from worshipdownloads.com in the past. This time we will select Jesus Take Me As I Am. A MIDI file defines an instrument to play on each channel that is being used. There can be up to 16 of those channels. Channel 10 is always reserved for the drum kit and that cannot be changed. We almost always use channel 4 for the melody. As you see, we have seven instruments and as usual the drums are on channel 10 and the melody played by a jazz electric guitar, is on channel 4. Let's hear a bit of the melody play. Supposing that's not to our taste. You can easily change the guitar for any other instrument, though not all instruments will sound appropriate. We will change it to a flute and play again. That's okay as it is, but say we're keen on a simple piano, let's instead change it to a basic piano and listen again. It's okay, but especially if the song is not well known, you might want the melody to be stronger. For the sake of demonstration, we will set channel 4 to maximum volume, reverb and chorus, all of which affect the overall volume, and play the result. Very quickly you'll realise the difference. The melody is now clearly the strongest part of the music. You can make choices about instruments and their strength in the mix by adjusting these settings as you choose. Experience will teach you what works, but our advice is to be conservative unless you know what you're doing. Two key points worth remembering. People can't sing if they can't find the melody or the timing of the music. As always, if we want to keep the adjustments we've made, click Create MIDI and then Download MIDI and Save. That completes this short training video. We truly hope My MIDI helps your ministry. God bless you and your people.